Hey guys, so uh, today we are starting a new Let's Play, and that is Story of Seasons. This game just came out a couple days ago. It came out like March 31st, and it is basically the next Harvest Moon game, although it can no longer be called Harvest Moon because of legal reasons, um, uh, issues with Natsume, who owns the name Harvest Moon. It's kind of really confusing. Um, but the Harvest Moon games are basically going to go a different way, like the ones that are titled Harvest Moon. They're kind of more of becoming a farming simulator mixed with Minecraft. And I was not really into that. I'm not a huge Minecraft person because I suck at creating things in games. Like, whenever there's a level design, I, I just, I suck at it. Like, I'm really bad at it. So, um, that was not really my cup of tea, but then I saw this was coming out, which is basically like Harvest Moon. You just can't call it Harvest Moon. It's like very complicated, and I might leave a link below to explain the differences between Story of Seasons and the next Harvest Moon, which I can't remember what it was called. Um, but yeah, this one is going to focus more on the characters and the relationships, and I like that a lot better in this kind of um, life simulator RPG sort of thing. Uh, that's kind of what I like personally, like, you know, the characters more than kind of the, the setting or what's going on, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've been excited for this game. I actually pre-ordered it, and I got a little uh, Angora bunny from Amazon because they were doing a pre-order bonus, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, we are going to be taking a look at this game, and hopefully I will like it. Reading about it, it really reminded me of um, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, which is my favorite Harvest Moon game ever. It is for the PS1, and it is so good. Um, okay, so we have two difficulties here. Original for veteran farmers or seedling for those who want to relax and enjoy farming. I'm just going to go with original here. I just really wanted to play this game because it just came out and I wanted to give you guys a look at it um, to see if maybe it's something that you guys want to try yourselves because I'm sure a lot of you have not really looked into the Harvest Moon series um, because like it sounds super boring like a farming simulator sounds really really freaking boring and weird and stupid and I totally get that but seriously it's so fun it's kind of like Animal Crossing kind of sorta and don't worry about fantasy life I am NOT giving up on fantasy life at all this is just something that I wanted to try out and play and was just really excited to do that so so yeah, I also really want to play Animal Crossing New Leaf. I was going to play that, but then with this coming out, I decided, well, since this just came out, I'm going to play this and let you guys kind of have a first look at this game. Uh, and then later on, sometime, I will play uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. So yeah, so we're going to uh, create our person. Okay, we have four skin tones. This is literally my skin tone. Like, I'm not even kidding. It says snow, and that is me, ghost. Okay, so we have a natural look, a cool look, baby face, bright eyed face, smiley face, whoa, calm, grumpy face. <laughs> oh, that's really creepy. I don't like that one. I kind of like this one. Natural look too. Uh, okay. So what color do we want our hair? Whoa. I almost always make my character's hair black in games. I don't know why. It just happens. Oh, that's cool. You can make it, like, purple. Um, there are so many choices. I like that you can do, like, weird colors, and it's not just, like, you know, blonde and brown. That's kind of cool. I actually kind of like the green. All right, I think we're going to give her pink eyes. Not pink eye, but pink eyes, I think, maybe. I don't know. Now I'm, like, second-guessing myself. Also, apparently my AVG antivirus free is outdated. Good to know. I mean, you guys can't see that, but... Okay, so I finally settled on this. I really wish I could change, like, my hair, like, style, but... Okay, my birthday is in the summer and it's on the 18th. Okay, where is my stylus? I hate how on the little 3DS the stylus is in the back. It's, like, really annoying. Yes, I would like to start my game with these settings. One chilly winter day as you leafed through your mail, a simple pamphlet caught your eye. I bet you it was an advertisement for Ulta. 
New farmers wanted. Join us and help Oak Tree Town grow as you work the land. Who sends out pamphlets for a farm? Wouldn't it be interesting to become a farmer, to leave life behind and live off the land in harmony with nature? No. With visions of green pastures and friendly animals in your head, you filled out and submitted the application. Okay, so you have to apply to get a farm? One week ago, the reply came, you'd been accepted. With no freaking experience at all, I must have lied through my ass on that resume. Now a new life awaits you in the countryside. Oh, that's not me. Where's me? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Please come in. Oh, you must be the applicant for the vacant farmer position. Uh, Kita, was it? You got it. Welcome to Oak Tree Town. We're so glad you decided to come. I am Veronica, the Guildmaster. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, okay, I guess we bow to each other. The Guild Office manages the day-to-day -day operation of Oak Tree Town. We handle a multitude of duties here, such as running town events and posting job openings. It is also our job to welcome you as our town's newest farmer. Okay. We received many applications, but of course we had only one opening. We kept coming back to your application. Well, I was president, so I totally see that. And I'm also mayor in a place called Animal Crossing. Because we could feel the honesty and passion you possess, eventually we decided you would be the best fit. Yay, I'm singing. I know you've come a long way to start your new life as a farmer, but I'm afraid we've still got some work to do setting up your farm. So until the farm is ready for you to move in, I'm going to have you stay with another farmer for training. That's creepy. I don't want to stay in someone else's house. Don't worry, she's the nicest, gentlest old lady you could ever meet. So this basically means that I'm going to have to do all the work for her, right? Because she's a geriatric. Any questions? No? Well, then allow me to walk you to her farm. You didn't even give me a chance to ask questions, ma'am. Uh-oh. Guys, I lost my stylus. Where'd it go? I put it... I put it- oh, there it is. Okay, found it. <laughs> the farm where you'll be staying is four blocks- whoa. It's a bit out of the way, but it's really a very pleasant place. Shall we be going? I guess. I need some new duds, man. I look like a- I'm homeless. Isn't this a lovely town? It may be a little small, but I think that adds to its charm. That's what you tell your husband every night. That we enjoy the level of prosperity we do is thanks to everyone's hard work and good attitude. Okay. It's not actually telling me what those places are, though. As Guildmaster, I'm very proud of our town and everyone who calls it home. All three of them. I hope that someday you'll come to love it as much as I do, Kita. Oh ho, I'm glad to hear you say so. I didn't say anything. Well then, let's make our way up to the mountains. Oh my god, we're gonna go live in the mountains? What are we, Gorons? Speaking of Gorons, I got Majora's Mask 3DS, which is awesome. I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet, but I like just got it. Plenty of people live in town, but set foot outside it and you'll find yourself surrounded by lush forests and rivers. The richness of the natural world around us is one of the best things about living here. Would you mind if we made a small detour? Yes. Isn't this a beautiful river? This clear water and the rich soil nourish the crops our farmers grow. Farming aside, isn't it relaxing to sit and listen to the quiet rush of water? Um, we're not sitting. Unless you can sit on your dress. Well then, let's continue on to the farm. This way, Kita. <laughs> I'm like, way behind. <laughs> what was I doing? Are you alright? No, I have bad tacos. 
These hills get steep in places. The climb can tire you out if you're not used to it. Why don't we take a moment to catch our breath? We- we just- we just took a break by the water. I apparently can speak in sign language. Hmm, the air tastes sweet. Yes, I can see how it would seem that way for those who have spent their lives in the city. Nature's beauty is this town's greatest treasure, and I aim to keep it that way. Shall we continue on? We still have a little ways to go. Alright, Kita, here is where you'll learn all about what it takes to be a farmer. My, my, well, hello there, Miss Veronica. Good lord. And who is this you brought with you? This is the new farmer that we talked about last week. But you probably don't remember because you're old. Oh, and such a spry-looking youth, too. Here, allow me to introduce you. This is Madam Ida. Not, not Edna. Ida. She's run this farm for many years, and you'll benefit greatly from her guidance and experience. The milk from her farm has swept up blue ribbons from a hundred county fairs. <laughs> this sounds weird. I bow to you because that is what we do in this culture. My, my, flattery will get you everywhere. Ho, ho. Don't call me a hoe. Kito, was it? It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah! <laughs> what the heck? Now then, Kita. Madam Ida will instruct you in the finer points of raising crops, tending to animals, and all the other chores that come with being a farmer. This is just until your own farm is ready. That should be in about a week. Oh my god. Like, they had all these applications. Like, couldn't they have had it ready? Until then, Madam Ida has graciously offered to let you stay as a guest in her house. I'd be glad to have you, Kita. I'm afraid of you, ma'am. Now, I'm afraid I have other work to attend to. May I leave the rest in your hands, madam? Of course! Kita, Madam Ida has, a, has been a farmer for decades. Well, more like centuries. So be sure to take advantage of all her knowledge. Should you need any other help or assistance with getting settled, you're welcome to come by the guild anytime. Nello, if you'll excuse me. I gotta go do some stuff. Okay. Well then, what kind of host would I be if I left you standing out here in the cold? Would you like to come in? It doesn't look cold. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's a Merry Christmas! Come in, come in! Dum, da, dum, da, dum. God, she's so short! This is my home, and even though it's just for a few days, think of it as your home, too. Okay. Hmm, I look happy? <laughs> Why, of course! Ever since my grandson moved back to the city, I've been living in this old house all by myself. <laughs> You're happy he's gone? With you here, it's almost like he's home for a visit. I'm glad f to have the company. Oh. Great, I make you think of your grandson, and I am a young girl. You must be exhausted from the trip here. Let's wait until tomorrow to start working. <laughs> I like her, she's lazy. <laughs> Why don't I show you to your room? This way, dear. God, she has scoliosis. Like, her back <laughs> is so <laughs> twisted. This will be your room. Now let me explain what you can do with all the furniture you see here. First is your toolbox. You can store things like hose and sickles in there. Oh, I will store all the hose in there. Stand next to it and press the A button to use it. You can leave things in your bag, of course, but if you won't be using them soon or just need to free up space, stow them here. Next is your storage box. You can keep items, insects, and other collectibles in here. I think I'll keep bugs in a wooden box where they're going to die. You use it the same way as the toolbox, by standing next to it and pressing the A button. Thank you... for that. That brings us to the bookshelf. Here you can look up info on all the things you learn how to do on the farm. A 
As with the toolbox in the storage box, stand next to it and press the A button to use it. People in this town are fond of giving educational books, so always be sure to read up to refresh what you've learned. Good gravy! Look at the time! You must be tired, and here I am, plum talking your ear off. Go ahead and sleep in this bed here. <laughs> Just stand next to it and press the A button to turn in for the night. I still have a few chores to finish, so don't wait up for me! Oh, one last thing. What do you think about keeping a journal of your life here? I think that's a waste of time. Writing in your journal helps you remember what you've been doing, <laughs> in case you're old and can't. I do it before bed, but you can jot down your progress anytime. And before I go, here's a small allowance from me. Use it to get whatever you might need. Oh, sweet. We're rich. Oh, okay, so I guess we'll save. Journal is being written. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I can find it. Oh my god, why do I run like that? <laughs> Who runs like this? <laughs> okay. So, this is my special storage box. Take out. Is there anything in there? Nope. Like, the thing that annoys me with games, like, nowadays, I guess, is gonna make me sound like really old, like, back in my day. But, like, the tutorials are so freaking long. And, like, you're not stupid. Like, kids are not stupid. If kids could figure out how to play, you know, like, Final Fantasy and, like, even text games back when, you know, like, the Commodore and all that stuff. Like, if kids could figure that out, why do we need these in-depth tutorials to tell me that I need to press A to inspect something? Like, that's, it's, it's just a huge waste of time. Today was exhausting, I can't wait to crack. What? Okay, so I, whoa, I can jump, that's amazing. Can I jump on the table? No. Okay. Um, so I guess I have no choice but to go to bed, which is weird. Also, this is like one giant room, which is really creepy. And there's no bathroom? So what, do we like poop outside, I guess? I mean, we use our- we make our own fertilizer. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I will go to bed. The time I choose to go to sleep determines when I'll wake up. Okay, yes, that's great. Like, seriously, a lot of this stuff, you could just freaking figure out yourself. You know what I mean? Good evening, Madam Eda. My, my. Hello there, Giorgio. <laughs> back home from your trip already. Indeed, I just got the back, so I thought I'd stop and say hello. Look at this, Prince. And this is... Question mark. This is Kita, the new farmer who just moved into town. We'll soon be covering all the basics of farming. Oh, I see. I love the giant flowers that are appearing, like, around him. I am a Giorgio. I run a small farm north of town. You've seen me in the magazines, I'm sure. No. Also, you're short. <gasps> what? You haven't? Alas, perhaps my fame is still above the to fully burst forth upon the world. I... I don't like him. Well then, I suppose I'll just have to sweat that much more to make it bloom. I... He is Gilderoy Lockhart. Like, that is Gilderoy Lockhart, in a nutshell, right there. Oh dear, I've taken leave of my manners again, losing myself to my ponderings. My name isn't unknown in farming circles. I've even appeared in a magazine or two, no doubt, to show the glamour of the farming lifestyle. See, I accidentally gave him an Italian voice because of his name, like, before I saw what he looked like. I probably would have made his voice different. Oh well. Oh, it's not as big as it sounds. You're going to work on your farm as well, right? If you ever have any trouble, you come straight to me, okay? I'll help as only I can from my deep storehouses of benef beneficence. My neighbor is a fellow farmer named Fritz. I live to the east of him. Now then, I must be going. Get some spicy meatballs. I'm sorry for everyone I just offended with that terrible, terrible Italian accent. Come, Kita dear, up and at him. It's morning. Great. How is this training day two? We learned nothing except how to open the box. Good morning, Kita. I am asleep. Goodness, you look tired. No shit, it's like four in the morning. So nervous, you hardly slept a wink, hmm? Oh, you poor dear. I wasn't... I'm not nervous. I suppose that explains the bags under your eyes. No, I'm just ugly rude. Well, it's times like these that a little breakfast can go a long way. What do you say we have some? I say heck yes. 
I love me some breakfast. Do you see the heart icons in the upper left corner of the screen? Those represent your stamina. When you do work, those will go down. Be careful now. If you run out of stamina entirely, you'll collapse. The face icon to the far left represents your health. If you don't feel well, you'll lose stamina more quickly. Not to fear, though. You can replenish both your stamina and your health by eating. To a degree, anyway. If you ever want a refresher on this, check your bookshelf and read the books on stamina and health recovery. No, I don't think I will. Well then, what say we enjoy our breakfast before it goes cold? This way, dear. What are we- we're like- looks like we're on a ship or something. We're like wobbly. Oh ho ho! I blew the dust off an old stew recipe of mine just for the occasion. Why would we have stew for breakfast? It's been years since I put this much effort into a dish. I hope you like it. Go on and dig in before it gets cold. Again, why are we having stew for breakfast? Breakfast is for waffles and pancakes and cereal. That was the weirdest eating noise I've ever heard in a video game. <laughs> How was it, dear? Did you like it? Good, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Alright, I think it's time we get to the meat of your training. If you know what I mean. Granny just made a sexual joke. First, let's go outside. Follow me. Oh, can I? Okay, that's great. I don't care. Let me let me do stuff. I want to play. I freaking hate tutorials. Pain in my ass. Let's practice gathering materials and other things you might find lying on the ground. Let me guess, I have to pick them up with A? In the mountains, you might find rocks or sticks or even nuts and berries just sitting there on the ground. Nuts and berries. If you find any, feel free to pick them up. For practice, why don't you collect some items lying around on my farm? When you spot an item, stand close to it and press that A button to pick it up and put it in your bag. Hey, I was right. To take it back out, either press the X button or touch the bag icon on the touch screen to open your bag. Yeah, pick up five pebbles and five toys. Okay, whatever, Granny. Boing, boing. I love that I can jump. Like, I, I don't even know why. I just do. It's amazing. Also, you move like freaking lightning in this game. Like, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, you move so slow. And you constantly had to hold down the button for running so then your thumb would get tired. My, my, and where do you think you're off to in such a hurry? Keep looking for the rest of the items you need to collect. What a sassy bitch. I was just playing around on the farm, and then she yelled at me. Look, I didn't even know I could go that way. I thought it, I was going to be invisible walled. Calm down, jeez. Well done, dear. Here, you've put in a good effort. Refresh yourself with this brandy. Oh, orange juice. I was deceived. <laughs> I trust you understand how to pick up items now. You'll find all kinds of things lying about, so pick up whatever catches your fancy. Oh, and you're gonna give me a book about it? Great! That would be a really long book. It would say, go up to an item and press A, and that would be the book. <laughs> Best seller, New York Times. You can sell items you pick up at the Trade Depot if you like. Oh, but we have to wait till tomorrow to learn that valuable lesson. But I think that's enough for today. You must be all tuckered out from running around the farm. Are you serious? We've been awake for half an hour, if that. Um, you have a band-aid on your face. Were you mauled? Huh, who's this, Granny? This is Kita, the new farmer who arrived yesterday. Right now, we're going over some of the finer points of farm chores. Is that so? Hey, uh, I'm Fritz, a farmer like yourself. Good to meet ya. Okay. Anyway, have you got anything I can help out with, Granny? Kita is helping me out, so I don't need you, you dumb shit. Okay, gotcha. Why don't you two fall in love? Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask both of you. Sure, anything you want, Granny. Can you give me a sponge bath? I'd really like to see the two of you become friends. Wow. Did anybody else ever freaking hate that when you were a kid? Like, your parents would be like, Oh, and they have a daughter that's close to your age, so you guys will be like best friends for life, and it's gonna be amazing. And you're just like, Dad, no, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, just because someone is the same age as me does not mean that we are going to magically become friends. And then you just end up sitting awkwardly, like, staring at the wall with the person, not actually interacting with them. And then you leave and your parents are like, see, that's so great, you guys are friends. And you're like, we're not friends. We're not friends. God. Huh, is that it? No problemo. Sing. Your name's Kita, right? Well, Kita, as of today, we're best buds. I know we'll get along great. See, see, that that is what doesn't happen in the real world. Oh, hey, want to come along to the river with me? Not really. 
You're weird. It's getting kind of hot out, so I'm gonna take off my clothes. I'm gonna go on ahead, don't keep me waiting. Um, bitch? Like, leave me alone. Ho ho ho, such an energetic scamp, that Fritz. He's a sweet boy at heart. I hope you get together. Yeah, not gonna happen. I don't wanna go play- like, okay, if I'm old enough to apply to have a farm, not to work at a farm, to actually own a farm, I'm not gonna go play with someone. Jeez, Keto, what kept you? Come on, let's jump in. He freaking reminds me of the rival in Pokemon Platinum. I think his name's supposed to be Barry. He acts like he's on crack all the time. I freaking hate him so much. This guy's not quite as bad. Whoa, 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 you've never gone swimming in a river before? Yeah, I have all the time. I skinny dip every day. Per se, to dive underwater, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. You mean to watch me, creep? I also really like that you can swim in this, though. Like, that's a cool feature that wasn't in uh, some of the older ones. I have to admit, I haven't played a lot of the newer Harvest Moon games just because I've been really disappointed with them. Like, I really just didn't like a lot of them. Like, I would try to play them, and I was just kind of like, eh. Like, especially the ones on the DS, I was kind of disappointed by. But Back to Nature is freaking amazing, so I think you can buy it on the PSN like network and it's only a couple dollars like maybe five dollars but it's totally worth it it's such a good game and then they ported it to the game boy advance and that's harvest moon friends of mineral town so good but i'm really hoping that this game is like that one it really reminds me of it but obviously you know the graphics and everything are gonna be better and the stupid tutorial in that game they just kind of throw you in and they're like okay here you go <laughs> diving underwater takes stamina okay that's great let me out there's a shark in there Welp, that's about all there is to swimming lessons. Doesn't it feel liberating knowing how to swim? Yeah, sure. Oh, and and he he gave me a book about swimming. This is like the smallest library ever because every book is going to have two pages in it. Why don't you guys just give me a binder that has... You and Fritz played together for hours in the river. I did not. That That is lying. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> reminder. <laughs> okay, kids. Reminder. Swimming in real rivers can be dangerous. <laughs> yes. But the game's rivers are all safe. So jump in and have fun. <laughs> wow. A way to break the fourth wall game. I can't even. I really hope there's reminders about horses too or something. Like cows. It'll be like, reminder. Cows can get pissed off and kick you in the face. <laughs> but in the game, you can do whatever you want to the cows. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw trash in the river. Like, what kind of asshole do you think I am? God. Did you have fun playing in the river, dear? No. That's wonderful. You must be all tuckered out. Why don't you call it a night? Now, here's today's allowance, and don't forget to write in your journal before you go to bed. Oh, yeah, 500 smackaroons. Yeah, see, that avatar is not me. I don't know what you're talking about, but that's not me. Oh, serious, like, back to nature flashbacks right now. Like,. It's so great. Boing. Alright. Granny, where are you? Granny! Granny! Today was exo- Oh, I have to go to bed. <laughs> I thought it was the next day. <laughs> I guess it wasn't. Okay, um, I've been recording for like 40 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut out a good bit of this because like it's so long i'm sorry that i couldn't get to do more stuff because like the tutorial is just a pain in the butt but i promise it will get way more interesting once we actually have free reign and like can do our own things so yeah i hope you guys weren't too bored with this episode but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one